Hi everybody, Derek here again from Crua. We've been getting a few recurring questions about, I suppose, setup, takedown of Modus and also pack up of Modus. So we've decided to do a video right from start to finish just to, to explain all the different bits and pieces and the little, the little nuances of the product. So when you get Modus first, you'll see the parts will come individually bagged. Don't panic, we just send them in, in, in individual bags just so you can use the various parts in, by themselves. If you follow Crua for a while, you know we focus on modularity and being able to use parts by themselves and together. So when they, they come individually, but you can roll them up and when you roll them up together, this is what you'll end up with. In here, we have the base, the quilts, the fly, uh, the fly sheet, the air poles, the bug mesh, the stakes, and the tree straps. Uh, the only thing we haven't rolled in here are the pump, the, which is really the kind of the optional pump that we added up. This is just for the air poles. The pump is only for the air poles, it's not for the mattress. Um, some, some of you will say you don't need the pump and that's absolutely fine. And if you're trying to keep trail weights down and that, you can, you can inflate the air poles um, with your mouth. But if you want to add extra rigidity to the poles, you can use the pump. And here are your uh, your two aluminium spreader bars or porch poles, they, they work for, for both. You obviously could roll these in here, but if you want to keep them separate or you want to keep trail weight down, I've just kept them out for the time being, but you could of course because they're under the overall length anyhow. Um, just to give you, get us a size on this, this is showing about 69 centimeters, 27 inches um, by about 23 or 24 centimeters, which is just over nine inches as well. So that's a little bit smaller, I think, than we had specified on the page. And you can probably get this a little bit tighter in the bag as well. Um, the, the, that's kind of the overall kind of, I guess, the packed size of the, of the modus when you roll it up together as i said we'll at the end of the video i'm going to show you the best way to roll it up to get it as small as possible as well we're only using um two ties here you'll get three with it so you'll be able to make it even a little bit tighter when you get it at home okay so we'll roll on now to show the setup part of, mo of uh, the crew modus okay so here i've rolled out the mattress and the quilt um, the, neck, the first part I'd, I would always do is inflate the mattress. Once you roll it out and open the valve, the mattress will inflate partially itself, but you'll probably have to add a few breaths, just if you, especially if you want the mattress a little bit more rigid, as I do. It usually takes about three or four breaths for me. Um, like we said before, keep the flap in when you're, when you're blowing into it. And that's pretty much enough for me. The valve will close itself, as you can see, the flap flap actually pops down and just put, put the cover on over it and that's your mattress inflated you can then um, zip up your quilt on the other on the other side so I have it zipped up two-thirds of the way so I'll zip it up to finish it off and then the next step after that would be put on the air poles and put on your bug mesh so you can see I've gone ahead and I've staked out all the corners of the tent and also the bottom of the air poles I inflated this air pole with the pump and I've staked out and with um, the, the air pole with one of the guy lines. There are four guy lines included. Two of them are for these two air poles just to stake them out. That'll stop any sagging with your bug mesh. The other two guy lines are for the porch um, when, when, you're, when you have the porch up on the side of the tent. Um, the other thing to notice with the air poles when you're attaching them is there is a Velcro pad. There's a receiver and then there's also a Velcro on the bottom of the air poles. One simply sits into the other and we've zipped around the bug mesh 360 degrees all the way around the base. If you have the cocoon or you, if you've, you've added um, the cocoon section, you simply zip off on this exact same zip line. You zip off the bug mesh and you zip on the cocoon. It works exactly the same way. So when you're inflating, you could do it by mouth. Some people will prefer to use the pump in this because you, you need to go to good, a good pressure um, on the air pole so that they remain rigid. So it's very simple. Close the valve on the bottom. Connect the, air, the, the valve here. And it blows up. That's six, six, um, usually about seven or eight revs of the pump. But that's perfectly rigid enough at this stage. Pop off the pump and close your valve. 
Again, you could possibly do this by mouth, but we, we did add on the, the pump just to make it a little bit easier. But if you were going on the trail, you wanted to reduce tra trail weight or bulk, you could get away with doing this by mouth as well. So now you'll see we've laid the fly sheet over the modus body. Um, the first thing to do when you're laying the fly sheet and the easiest thing is to line up the center point on the fly sheet with the center point of the base. And that's most easily done by taking the middle guy line. You'll see these three guy lines attached. These are the guy lines you use when it's in hammock form as well. But you'll take the middle guy line, stake that out on both sides first when it's lined up with the center of the, the, the base or the body. Then you can use the same stake for the other two guy lines and tighten them or loosen them accordingly and go right the way around your fly sheet staking out each of these bungee points all the way around and these are the two bungee points at the end that you would you would remove and loosen as you want to get in and out of the tent and very easily readjust it from the inside too so that's very simple a one minute job to put the fly sheet on the modus body just a quick note on the porch very simple to assemble you just take these bungees out of the ground on both sides i'd take both corners actually on both sides out of the ground you may need to readjust the guy lines at the back as well to give yourself a little bit more space quite simply the pole fits through this little eyelet at the top of uh, the top corner of the fly sheet and you guy it down you'll see as i mentioned that there are guy lines included for just guying from the top of this from tying this back to the ground and stakes as well you can always readjust the base as well and push it further in to make your porch a little bit bigger so when you're taking modus down it's basically the same steps but in reverse so we unstaked the fly sheet folded it and laid it out you'll see in the bags there there that you we also have the stakes the footprint for the porch the small footprint for the porch and the tree straps um, and we're going to lay that on top of the actual base and roll the whole thing in together just to note a couple of things to note first I've deflated the air poles just by releasing the bigger valve some of these dog bones to tie either side of the mesh across keep it all attached so we have all the, the bug mesh is still actually zipped in here the quilt is still zipped in here so I've just released the valve and remember you keep push the flap back to make sure that the valve on the mattress stays open and when I roll this I'm going to roll from the head side towards the valve to make sure that you can expel the air as you go along that's important or it becomes very difficult if you try to do it the other way around so again place everything together and I'm just going to show you rolling the whole thing up and then we have our webbings just to tighten it up and to compress the whole thing at the end as well try to keep the roll as tight as possible as you roll along towards the valve this will expel the air as you're coming along and a small hint just at the end when you do get to the valve I would pop it closed because it stops any air getting back in like I said the mattress does self inflate partially so we want to make sure that there's no air getting back in so just get all the air out of it and then we're actually rolling towards the valve so it's just here make sure you've left the quilt a little bit open so you can access it and then that's it pop closed and we're just going to tie it up with our two compression straps you'll actually have three compression straps just to get it nice and tight and uh, easy for carrying and there you have it the modus rolled up we've just used uh, two compression straps you do get th three with it it'll make it a little bit tidier and easier as well so there you go if you have any other questions feel free to reach out of course um, support to crewoutdoors.com we're always here to answer your questions and other than that enjoy and happy camping if you've added the insulation bundle or you're thinking of doing so here's what you get and very simply it just zip off the bug mesh off of the modus zip this on and exactly the same zipper line and away you go the extra bit of insulation or comfort especially in these colder winter or shoulder season months